I get asked an awful lot whether or not there are free pieces of software to do your keyword research. Obviously you have things like Publisher Rocket, Helium 10 and Bookbeam which are all paid pieces of software for keyword research. In this video I'm going to show you a free piece that you can use online completely free to find as many profitable keywords as possible for your books. So the free tool I'm talking about in this video is actually a website called ASINC. So if you just go to Google and type in ASINC.com, it will come to this website here. And essentially what ASINC is, it's just a Amazon reversed ASIN search tool. So what this basically does is you'll put in an ASIN into the search bar here and Amazon will pull back all of the keywords, sorry, it's not my mic, that, these, that this book is ranking for. And you can kind of pick and choose the ones that you want to include with your book. So essentially what you want to do is find a kind of niche that you want to publish in and then take all the best selling books in that niche and put them into this ASINC um, reverse search tool. And what that's going to do is show you loads of keywords that all those books are ranking for so you can choose the best ones for your book. So for example, in this video, we're going to choose this interesting facts for curious minds book. It's actually number one in books for December. So it's sold a ridiculous amount of copies. And um, so just go to the ASIN, grab that and just copy that in and drop this into this search bar here. You can then choose what kind of um, marketplace you want to search for. So if you want to mainly publish in the US, stick US in, or you can kind of use UK if you want to do UK. I'm from the UK, so I'm just going to choose UK for this example, but it doesn't really matter too much depending on what your book is. So then, then just press re reverse search. And what it's going to do is show you all of these keywords that this book is ranking for, and also show you two main metrics for it. The first one is this searches number, which essentially is just the number of searches this keyword gets in a given month. And then finally you have the weight. So they describe the weight here is a weight of value that in well, one to five indicates how much traffic the keyword brings to an ASIN. So basically what this means is the more weight there is here basically translates to the more of these searches that actually result in a click into this specific book. So in an ideal world, the best keywords would have really high searches and also a really good weight. But one thing that's definitely worth remembering is the keyword does still have to be relevant to the book. So for example, Alex Ryder here, people in the UK, I'm not even sure if it's a US thing either. Alex Ryder is basically um, a, a character in a fictional book and film. So I don't know how re uh, how relatable this actually is to the book you're using. So you just want to manually filter out any ones that aren't relevant to your book. Um, and include those in your keyword list. But essentially, just use this searches and this weight metric to kind of get, gauge what keywords are the best ones for you. You can also get a list of all of these unique keywords, so the most ranking keywords individually. And that's really, really useful if you wanna go through and use those. So just go through all of this list here and just scroll right to the bottom, you can see how many results you've got here. And what you also can do is just press this export button and what's that, what this is gonna do is export it as an Excel sheet and you can kind of look at the data in a little bit more detail. And normally I'm not sure how well this actually works because it only brings back a, um, a couple of keywords at the start, only five, um, which is a bit annoying because you would want to be able to kind of filter it by searches. But again, that's kind of the price you pay for a piece of free software. All things like Bookbeam, Helium 10, Publisher Rocket do exactly this, but allow you to search in depth. But what is really good when you do download the files is you get all of these individual keywords and how frequently they appear uh, in all of the related books and keyword searches. So the word for appears in 320 times and all of the keywords that this reverse search tool has brought back. So if you're looking to kind of keyword stuff to final three keyword boxes, if you're trying to improve your reach for your books, this is a really good list. You can literally just take the top 20 of these as long as they're relevant to your book and I'm not like kind of infringing copyright or anything and stick them in the back end of your book. And that's gonna massively target um, a, a huge amount of reach for your book with relevant keywords and keywords that you know are kind of converting for you. So that in a nutshell is a really, really quick demonstration of what you can do with ASIN Seed. How I would kind of do this um, going forward is put in maybe five or six books that are related to your book that you see are selling really, really well. And you want to kind of see what keywords they're using and then just drop all the main kind of um, long tail keywords in a, um, a spreadsheet, whether that's in Excel or Google Sheets. And then do the same for kind of the one, uh, the unique words here. Fill your first four keyword boxes with the best specific phrases and then f uh, fill the final three key boxes with loads of kind of individual words. That's just kind of how I would do my keyword research using this. But that is ASIN Seed. Go ahead, try it out and see how you find it. Again, it's not quite as good as Publisher Rocket, Bookbeam or Helium 10, but it's just a really good kind of free piece of software that you can use to kind of introduce yourself to a little bit more in-depth analysis when it comes to keyword research. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you find ASINC useful. If you did, then please do leave a like and also subscribe for more KDP content and I will see you in the next one.